Welcome back to Play The Game Central. Uh, today we're going to be doing a full breakdown of the Uprising trailer. I've cut out the multiplayer bits because we're only interested in zombies. I've also sharpened some of the images so we can see a little better. I really wish they would start making these trailers in at least 1080. But as I said, we're going to be doing a full breakdown of the trailer. We will not be missing anything. I've also been given some uh, stuff to mention uh, from Ben. Whereas other YouTubers might not know what it is, we do. So this will be the only breakdown you'll need to watch. So let's get started. As you can see on the screen currently we have the splash screen which uh, has all the multiplayer maps and Mob of the Dead. There's one thing interesting here and that's if you look on the helmet of the uh, the, the soldier in the middle. You can see it says zombie, it has uh, like a skull and it has the number 7 next to it. Uh, the first clip you see is actually from the beginning cinematic. Just like Call of the Dead, Alcatraz has a beginning cinematic that gives us a bit of background and uh, kind of starts off the map. This is just after uh, they kill the guard and it turns out he actually gets back up again. And that's what Ben has informed me to tell you, so you know it's true. So here we go, we're in a very similar, if not the same part of the map. Uh, things have changed from that opening cinematic. There's lots of barbed wire, there's bodies hanging down. Ben has also said there is something rather interesting uh, in the top right on the catwalk up here that looks quite similar to uh, a buildable piece from the trample steam. However, it's not for the trample steam. In the second panning shot here, there's something interesting on the cell on the right. As you can see, a skull. Uh, I believe the skulls may be important for something uh, for that, but that's for you to, to find out in the future. But you can see a skull if you look very carefully on the uh, on the cell to the right here. We'll enlarge that and try and improve the quality a bit. And obviously this is in the main prison cell area as you can see. Moving on to the next shot we can see a panning shot coming up to the library here. There's a few interesting things. Uh, if I stop just before uh, we turn we can see a sign underneath the stairs. It's not really important. Uh, but. You can see it, it says library above the door and then to the left of that there's a table with a skull on. There's lots of weird stuff like this in this map. There's a skull and there's some candles and if you look really carefully uh, you can just begin to see a shot of a, of a weapon. Um, in the next frame you'll be able to see that it's the Olympia and this is uh, near the starting area. Again more bodies hanging from the ceilings, more chains. Uh, you can see books in here so obviously it is the library. Then we have the uh, Mob of the Dead splash screen with the zombies and the red eyes and the uh, Golden Gate Bridge being built in the background. And like I said earlier, this map has a cinematic. Uh, here is some proof for you. Uh, they're doing the motion capture for the cinematic, as you can see. And just after that, you can see them uh, editing it together. Now, this is where things get really interesting. Just after he said something like, uh, uh, so we went to Alcatraz, we get this uh, single frame where we have a picture of a teddy bear sitting in a prison cell. It looks very out of place, and it's kind of cool that they, uh, they, they've hidden that in there. You probably did not notice that the first time around watching it, it's very hard to see. In the next shot we get a nice view of the entire island. Uh, if you look carefully in the background you can see the Golden Gate Bridge being built. We can see the, uh, the main prison complex here, and also you can see the red light, that is the box. Just like the zombies eyes are red, the box is also has a red beam because this is before uh, Samantha or Ulrich Toffen uh, came into control so it is something different. Then in the next shot we get a, uh, a look at some of the outdoors. If you look carefully you can see a gun on the wall. I can't actually make out what that is because it's very difficult to see. But there's uh, a lot of barbed wire, there's l loads more bodies hanging down, more chains. This map is very, uh, very creepy. Uh, I really like what they've done with it, I think it looks fantastic. Then we have another panning uh, shot outdoors, we can see the water tower, we can see a guard tower, we can see some kind of like uh, docks, and we can see the main prison building in the background and the box, as well as the lighthouse and more bodies hanging down from the uh, the tower there. Then we get another look at the, uh, the same area that we just looked at a moment ago. What's interesting about this scene is we can see a, a buildable for the riot shield just in the center. Again, you can see the weapon in the back left, but I cannot see what that is, and I'm not sure what that is, so I I don't know about that one, actually. So something to take note about this scene as well is uh, we get a good look at some of the outside, and it's not wide and open, it's still a uh, fairly confined space, so hopefully there'll be no training spots anywhere on this map. 
So here we have another really, really awesome uh, scene. We can see, get a good look at the zombies here. We, if we look carefully, you can see they've got like a razor wire around them. The, the skin's all torn up. They look, they look quite different to uh, to to our usual zombie. Definitely looks a bit more serious. Obviously, the, the main good thing about this shot is we have the amazing, one of my all-time favorites, Chicago-style Tommy gun. I am so happy that this gun is here. I also hear that it might be off the wall, so that is awesome. This is probably going to be one of my favorite guns on this map. I think it looks fantastic. Obviously, you have the, the round drum, so it's going to have decent uh, ammo capacity. Uh, other things to take note in this shot is we have writing on the wall, uh, kind of a rook style and again it's just adding more to the vibe that this is a very kind of creepy uh, and there's some strange stuff going on in this map so again we obviously have the uh, the cinematic again here uh, something to take note in this shot is all the characters have uh, different pistols uh, I don't believe you start off with these pistols these are just like little makeshift pistols that they were going to use to try and escape as you can see, there's loads of candles everywhere. There's some bodies hanging down from the ceiling. It's uh, it's still really creepy. This map has a really awesome and creepy vibe to it. I I think it's it's going to be one of the best maps. Now moving on, we have a shot of Ray Liotta. Wow, that sounds familiar. I swear somebody said about that the other day. Uh, he's using the LSAT, which uh, some people will be uh, glad to hear because the RPD and the hammer were getting quite boring in terms of LMGs. Now this next shot is pretty creepy. Now I've been told by Ben to tell you about this. What looks to be a dog at first, it does look quite like a dog, is actually a demon. Uh, and if you feed that demon with zombies, once you hit a sudden quota you'll be rewarded with a throwable weapon and it doesn't count as a tactical weapon. Uh, so I doubt many other people would have guessed that, but it's a demon, you have to feed it zombies and you get a reward, which is pretty awesome. Again, this this room is really creepy. We have like spikes on the ceiling, hooks hanging down. If you look carefully in the background, you can actually see it says roof. Uh, the zombie here as well, he has like spikes on him, more razor wire. This is going to be a, quite a, a gory and gruesome map. Okay, moving on to the next shot, we have the Golden Gate Bridge in the background, in the gap in the wall. I think this may be the same gap that we saw from earlier in the trailer, the one with the, uh, the splash screen. More importantly, we have the Uzi here. Once again, we were, we were right, the Uzi is returning, so that's going to be pretty cool, although not quite as cool as a Tommy gun. In the next shot we can see uh, some candles, some like papers on the windows in the back there, and the FAL. So in this next shot here we have a sign just in the back right here. We can see the first four letters, it says Ward, so presumably it's going to be Warden's Office, or something uh, similar to that. However, the Executioner is covering up the other half of the sign. But again, more good news here, the Executioner is going to be back, uh, that's a fantastic weapon. Uh, and as you can see, uh, our characters are very, very bloody, which goes very well, obviously, with the very creepy and gory kind of theme of this map. But he has got quite a lot of blood on him there, though, fortunately, none of it is on his hair or on his face, which is quite convenient. Now here we have another angle of the outdoor shot, Now, if you look really, really carefully, kind of in the bottom middle left, we can see what looks to be a switch to activate a trap. And you can see the little green light quite clearly above it. I'll uh, zoom in for you here. So uh, traps returning. Also above that we can see some uh, some like eyes uh, scribbled on to the, uh, the corrugated metal. More bodies hanging down. A lot more barbed wire. In the next bit we have loads of bodies hanging down. Loads more blood. And if you look really carefully, uh, at the back we can see some writing on the wall. I'm really glad that they're bringing back writing on the wall. I really miss writing on the wall. However, I can't tell you what that says because obviously it's not high enough quality and it's kind of been blocked out by the mesh fence. And that just about wraps up everything in the zombie trailer. Though it was quite short, uh, I'm sure there'll be a full trailer coming out later on. It had plenty of information for you there. I think the map looks fantastic. I cannot wait to to uh, play it myself. I can't wait to get a Tommy gun. That's that's going to be so much fun. Uh, thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave a like if you want to see more exclusive zombie information. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.